If you wonder what a dumpster flip is, you've came to the right place. So my name's Shane, and I'm just some guy that films YouTube videos, and I love doing it. But I'm also an e-commerce ninja. And dumpster diver, entrepreneur, and well, you can get the gist of it. And so I love looking for treasure and dumpsters like this. Those are empty and we're at a furniture store, so this is just for effect. But let me show you what a dumpster flip is. It's become abandoned every day. I do this for a paycheck, so I need to make a profit. It's time to hunt for the coolest items we can find. Maybe we can get a payday. So a dumpster flip is when you look in the dumpster for items that are worth value and you find them and you sell them on eBay. And uh, this is gonna blow your mind but I'm gonna kind of show you one of the dumpster flips I had in this video. I'm gonna show you how much I sold it for and as well as, well, of course, what I may find, you know, after or during this video. I'm gonna look at a couple dumpsters, see if we can find anything. We might not. And then I'm gonna show you what I sold something for. I'm gonna show you what I sold it for eBay. And you can kind of get a gist of what a dumpster flip is. So I do e-commerce for a paycheck. That's my only living. And sometimes you can't find inventory, you can't source inventory. So once in a while, I'll go dumpster diving. I'll just uh, just to kind of have an adventure to try to find some really cool stuff. And well, just maybe once in a while, you find more than what you bargained for. In dumpster diving, there's a ton of hurdles and obstacles and dangerous objects dangerous objects like this goose that wants to eat my face off and I have to sneak by it to get to the dumpster so we're at the dumpster we're looking for stuff this is GameStop but you know what they've been closed for a while and they share it with some food places I really don't think we're gonna find anything based on the fact that GameStop has been closed for several months now and I don't foresee them throwing away yeah, it's all nasty food. I don't see them throwing away a lot of stuff just because they've been closed and well, they haven't been open. So unfortunately, this was kind of a honey hole for us off and on. We would find really good stuff here and there. Well, not today. All right, so what I want you to do is just watch this upcoming video of where I found this original item and comment down below what you think I may have sold it for what you think it's worth and then hold on to your seat and you're gonna see what I actually sold it for we had to get our grabbers so we got multiple bags in here and this one's full of stuff we're gonna to have to go somewhere and go through it Ugh, I can't even get it out it's jack full of items uh, that look like maybe returns I honestly can't tell. That's jack full of stuff too. Right here, that's jack full of stuff. Just can't tell what it is. And then that, that's all paper. All right, let's go take these somewhere and go through them. Oh, what is this stuff? So it looks like these are Look at this, um, little designs. They're all brand new, is what it looks like. All of those, brand new. Looks like it's the same one. Um, I don't know what they sell for, but I'm gonna sell them. Probably try to sell them on eBay. Uh, there's a bunch of them in here. And I seen these originally and I'm like, man, if these are it, these will sell for some good money. Some of these do, some of them don't, but I'm gonna look. It's like clothing patterns or something. I don't know. Ooh, there's a bunch of them in here. Look at that. All these clothing patterns, so cool. Anyone need a rubber band? It's gonna take probably a little while to go through these. Uh, this bag is even more interesting. This, this pattern is temporarily out of stock. Well, because they're all in the dumpster, that's why they're out of stock. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, these are something that literally will sell good. Let's 
especially on eBay, and it may take me like a year to sell all of them, but the best part about it is they're free. So it's like free inventory. I don't have to go anywhere and buy them. I got them for free out of the dumpster. All right, what else do we got here? Let's see, I gotta rip it open a little bit more. Let's see anything up. Oh, here's some more. Right here. There's some more right here. I wish I had a box, one of these boxes. I'm gonna open them up and put them all in there. All right. Oh, oh got another one. That one's cool. Oh, with some more. Yeah, these I'm definitely gonna sell on eBay. These are brand spanking new. Patterns sell really good. People that love crafting and stuff. Oh, after this, after I go through both of these bags though, I'll get one and we'll just kind of look up and see what they sell for. So what am I gonna do with this bag? What I'll do is, uh, after I'm done going through them, I'll go back over there and throw them in, back in the dumpster in the same dumpster so that's typically what i like to do i don't like to throw them in different dumpsters just go to the same one throw them in there all right got some more it's crazy how they can just waste all of this and throw it away so when you're dumpster diving i always look in here this one obviously is empty i didn't realize it would be empty uh, this is Joanne Fabrics where I actually scored that that uh, dumpster flip at the uh, on, on this video and so this dumpster is empty but what you want to make sure is don't climb in empty dumpsters if you can't get out use a step stool you know I really just want to promote safety in this video and potentially how you can make money finding an ab abandoned items so as you can see dumpster diving is really hard but it's a possibility to find stuff in the dumpster well, that you can sell online and make money. So I got beat to the punch dumpster diving because they have a huge bag of Bath and Body Works stuff loading it up in their trunk. That's what happens when you get out late. You get beat to the punch. So after you've seen all the footage of me finding those in the dumpster, most of you probably wouldn't have ever thought, man, those are worth some money because I didn't. And so I just kind of threw them back in, in the back of my van and I didn't really think I was going to make a lot of money on them. So I took them to a parking lot nearby and I'm like, I got to I just got to scan one of these and see what, what it's about. And I scanned it and lo and behold, uh, it was selling for, I think six to seven bucks a piece on eBay. And I'm like, if these sell for six or seven a piece, that's a lot of money. So I just put them back there and you know I went home made the video had a couple people um, in the comments say you should lot them up you should lot them up you know and so I'm like you know what I'm gonna probably lot them up and so my friend uh, he's a youtuber too Wade's Ventures he told me to lot them up as well so I said you know what I'm gonna try it so I went home that night I took pictures you know took pictures of every eight or nine took them in pictures of them in a big pile and I sold all of them on eBay for $74.99, $75 around there. And it was the next morning. Uh, so I listed them up on the 10th. They sold on like, I think the 11th. And what's crazy is I only had, I had two low ball offers for 50 bucks. And then the next morning they sold for full price, the whole lot of 54, 55 for $74.99. So I, I made 75 bucks finding I guess trash, I guess you could call it trash in the dumpster and making a profit on it. And that's pretty crazy. Most people would call you insane if you told them what you just did. And so the crazy part is, uh, here's the images right here. I sold them on eBay. So right here or here or here, uh, one of those places it's going to pop up. I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the sale. I'm going to show you the pit, you know, the first picture of it, um, what I listed them up for. And then I'm going to also show you the date I sold them. And that's going to be somewhere around here. And so anyways, so after I sold them, I called my buddy Wade and, and he couldn't believe it. He was shocked. And 
So just looking back of how much stuff America throws away that's worth money to people. You know, this stuff is worth money. And people and managers and big corporations just throw this stuff in the trash. So I don't make all my money, I guess, dump, dumpster flipping for a paycheck. But I do make some of it doing that. And since this COVID-19 stuff hit or this stay-at-home stuff hit, you really can't go out to Goodwills and get inventory or nothing like that. So, you know what? I'm going to look in the dumpster and see how much stuff I can find to sell for profit. And to be honest, I was shocked myself. 